Hi everyone, welcome back to Soleil's Kitchen. In today's menu, we have keto cake cookies. You heard me right, they are amazing, they are to die for, they are divine, everything that you can imagine, we will have it. My friend Katie showed me or asked me once if we wanted to make uh, cake cookies and I didn't know what they were. So it's the cookies that you make out of the cake box mix. So these ones have the same consistency, so that's why I'm calling them keto because they're keto, cake because they have the same consistency, and because we're gonna make cookies. The ingredients that you will need are quite a bit, but don't be afraid, the cookies are worth it. What you will need are one and a half cup of almond flour, one third cup of monk fruit sugar, one cup of finely uh, cut strawberries, I'm gonna cut them so I just wash them and everything so they're pretty fresh. One third cup of coconut flour, one third cup of uh, coconut oil. This one is still kinda cold and that's what we need. No super cold but you will see what we will do. One tablespoon extra of mofruk sugar, one tablespoon of lime, four ounces of cream cheese, one four cup of um, chocolate chip sugar-free. These ones are very small and I really like this brand. It's not sponsored but it's Chalk Zero. Um, they're very small and they work very well with this recipe. One four cup of pecans. These ones are optional. I like my cookies with them. Um, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, one egg room temperature and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. The first step that you need to do is to cut these beautiful strawberries into very fine pieces and marinate them with lime and sugar. So let's get started. I like to cut mine into very small pieces, but if you want to have your cookies or you like big chunks, do what your heart desires. Okie dokie, so I use around four big, big uh, strawberries, put them on a bowl, there we go. the lime juice, and the sugar, or monk fruit. Mix them, but in a very gentle way. You don't want to smoosh them. You just want to coat every single one and to get the monk fruit to kind of like dissolve with the lime juice. This looks pretty good. Set it aside and ready for phase two. For phase two, we are using coconut oil, cream cheese, the pinch of salt, the egg, and the vanilla. I like to start working my coconut oil. You can see how kind of like still hard it is. So we need to work it, bring your big muscles, and start to mix it and mix it until it becomes a little bit fluffy. I know it's kind of weird, but it works. So start doing it. I have reached the desired consistency. It's not runny, but it's more manageable and ready for the cream cheese. And we're going to do the same thing. My arms are killing me, but I need to keep going. The cookies are really, really worth it. So let's do it again. You will need to work the cream cheese first. It was room temperature, but still cream cheese has a very firm. And just break it, incorporate it with the coconut oil, and then you can start mixing it again. There we go. It is almost ready. Let's add the pinch of salt. 
Mix again. Add your vanilla and egg. If the egg or vanilla are cold, the coconut oil will condense again and you will have to break it again. So I recommend to have them uh, at room temperature. If your egg is still cold, what you can do is um, just cut with it. Just kidding. Um, add it in a warm water so you can warm it up that way. Not hot because then you're going to cook it. So just a little bit like maybe five minutes in warm water and that will do the trick. And you guess again, start mixing. Fluff, fluff, fluff. So it's very, very fluffy. And you want to break all of the crumbs if you can. Try to do that. But fluff, fluff, fluff. I could have used a whisk, but I didn't do my arm workout. And actually, I kind of like doing this by fork. I don't know why um, the whisk that I have is a little bit too bulky, so I don't, I don't like it. So just do whatever works for you. You just need to have it fluffy and smooth. Okay, set it aside and ready for step three and the final one. All right, and we are going to use the last ingredients and the dry ingredients. So I like to sift mine. You don't have to, I just like it. That's why I like to use the sifter because there's big chunks that I can get before and this one is not cooperating, so I'm just moving it aside. Okay, your coconut flour. Baking powder. Sugar. Give it a mix. In full motions, add your uh, coconut and cream cheese, egg and vanilla mix. I'm just doing it slowly because my bowl is not super big. The other ones I have are uh, stainless steel and you won't be able to see it, so I'm just going to do it slowly but surely. I have added the wet mix and the mix is getting or looking a little bit dry. Don't worry, that's where these strawberries and lime come to the rescue. Add these and again do it in folding motions. Very gentle. You don't want to smush or make strawberry marmalade or jam. There we go. And keep folding. Oh, this smells so good. I don't see any more dry ingredients uh, left behind, so everything got together, ready for the chocolate chips and pecans, and fold again until they are well combined. And this is how it looks. Look at it. It looks beautiful. And the strawberries, they just smell amazing. Now, I have 
the oven already preheated at 330 Fahrenheit and I like to have mine with a spoon or I like to scoop mine and I'll have it like perfect just to be you not know, like the rounded you'll see these ones you can freeze as well and they taste very good still uh, being frozen that's what I do um, I like to have mine when they're fresh so I do just a small batch and freeze the rest and when I want more then uh, bring those and so like these they won't expand uh, they will just say like these so you don't have to like give them plenty of room like that is perfect and just keep scooping so this is how they look if you want to mold yours I will make one so you guys can see how beautiful it can also be. I like mine like these um, preference. So just like this and perfect. And ready to go to the oven for 15 to 22 minutes or when they start getting golden brown. I will see you in 20 minutes. Right out of the oven and they look amazing. And the house, as always, smells amazing. Who doesn't like the smell of fresh cookies and the strawberry smell, it really comes through. Um, this is the one that I form. You can enjoy them hot, just be careful. They're gonna be very crumbly. Leave them for five to seven minutes so they can like, cool down and get more um, solid so you can just pick them up. I store these in the fridge if they are not gone by tonight uh, because they have egg, they have cream cheese and they have uh, strawberry so I just uh, put them in the fridge in a closed container to keep them fresher for longer. If you like this video and recipe please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell and I will see you next time. Bye!